A quote from Brian Cox could be shocking. It would shine like a second sun because it's only 600 light years away. The red supergiant Betelgeuse could be about to explode. Images show that Betelgeuse is completely dimmed and very unstable. Researchers around the world are eagerly awaiting this unique event. At a distance of just 600 light years, we on Earth will be able to see the spectacle with our naked eyes. When Betelgeuse explodes, it will shine brighter than the entire galaxy for a few moments. Even weeks later, we will still be able to see the remains of the supernova. What exactly will happen when Betelgeuse explodes? According to astrophysicist Brian Cox, we will see a light so dazzlingly bright for a few moments that it will look like a second sun. During the day we might be blinded for a few moments and see a very bright flash. If the star explodes at night, it will be as bright as day for a few moments. Betelgeuse is about to explode, that much is certain. But on a cosmic scale, shortly could mean 100,000 years or even just one day. The crazy thing is that Betelgeuse could already have exploded, since the light from the supernova will travel through space for 600 years before it reaches us. We will only see the extreme brightness 600 years after the actual explosion. This idea shows the extreme dimensions of the universe in an impressive way. It will be exciting for us as soon as the supernova becomes visible, and we are already following every little change in the star. In 2019 and 2020, the red supergiant Betelgeuse experienced a dramatic decrease in brightness, which subsequently became known as the Great Dimming Event. This sudden drop in brightness led to speculation that the star was about to explode. Other experts were certain that the star would become brighter shortly before the final event. Researchers eventually found that the dimming was caused by a huge ejection of dust that blocked some of the star's light. It is likely that the aging star Betelgeuse experienced something like a mass ejection. In these events, which we also know from our sun, a star ejects large quantities of material into the surrounding area. Betelgeuse is 1,000 times larger than our sun, and the amount of material was much higher. The dimming was caused on the one hand by the dust cloud and on the other hand by the star experiencing cooling at the site of the material loss. In March 2024, the American Association of Variable Star Observers reported that Betelgeuse had again experienced a dip in brightness of about 0.5 magnitude. Researchers anxiously and excitedly observed the dimming since late January. This dimming was also a sign that we are not familiar with Betelgeuse. Any change that is unusual can be an indication of the explosion. Again, the scientific community researched intensively and eventually found that the extreme dimming was a direct aftereffect of the great dimming event of 2019 and 2020. Now we have brand new studies and simulations from astronomers at the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics showing that the turbulent surface activity of Betelgeuse could also lead to optical illusions. So, what is the real status of the red supergiant and will we see the explosion soon? The theory of the binary star suggests that while it has been proven that Betelgeuse is well on its way to going supernova, it remains a mystery as to what stage the red supergiant really is in at the moment. Betelgeuse is not a normal red supergiant. It behaves very differently from other stars of this type observed in space, and there could be an as yet unknown reason for this. Some of the star's characteristics do not fit the picture, and so researchers came up with a fascinating theory. Betelgeuse could be the result of two smaller stars merging. In this case we would not see one old star on its way to going supernova but two. The star rotates so quickly and contains more heavy elements such as nitrogen in its atmosphere than is the case with typical red supergiants. In a simulation carried out by astronomers, it was shown that Betelgeuse could originally have been a binary system consisting of two stars. One of these stars would have attracted the mass of the other, ultimately leading to a merger. This process would have disrupted the internal material of the newly formed star and pushed the heavy elements into the upper layers, which would explain the unusually high concentration of nitrogen. The merger would also have accelerated the rotation of the star. Normally, red supergiants rotate much more slowly. However, the simulation plausibly showed that the additional transfer of angular momentum can be explained by the merger of two stars. A counter-study also showed that the fast rotation of the star could be a misinterpretation. The activities on the surface of the star can lead to optical illusions that only look like an increasing rotation. Betelgeuse's actual state is therefore very difficult to assess. The only scientific certainty at present is the activity of violent deep convective currents that are constantly pushing billions of tons of material to the surface of the star and making the core increasingly unstable. Betelgeuse is also definitely in a late stage of its development. Scientists suspect that the star is currently undergoing the carbon-burning phase, which typically lasts about 1,000 years. When this phase ends, Betelgeuse could explode within decades rather than millennia as originally thought. 
The renewed dimming of Betelgeuse in 2024 and the fluctuations in brightness could be the first signs that the star is approaching its end. Betelgeuse has a special significance for us. It is not just any star. It's one of the brightest stars in the constellation Orion, and this has always had a special meaning for humans. Ever since our species has looked up at the sky, this star has been particularly huge, red, and conspicuous. Betelgeuse probably bloated into a red giant more than 100,000 years ago so we don't know it any differently. But it's only recently that we have become aware of its peculiarity and its fate. The earliest records of Betelgeuse come from ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, where the star was particularly revered as one of the brightest in the night sky. In the Middle Ages, Betelgeuse was mentioned by astronomers such as Tycho Brahe in his star catalogues. He described the star in the 16th century as conspicuous and reddish and wondered what this meant. The systematic scientific study of Betelgeuse began in the 16th and 17th centuries when telescopes became much better. Galileo Galilei, one of the pioneers of modern astronomy, observed Betelgeuse and studied its brightness fluctuations in detail. Even then, much more powerful telescopes made more detailed observations possible from the 18th and 19th centuries onward. William Herschel was one of the most important astronomers of the time, and he classified Betelgeuse as a variable star that changes its brightness over time. The decisive breakthrough in our understanding of Betelgeuse came in the 20th century with the development of spectroscopy. In the early 1900s, astronomers were able to analyze the chemical composition and temperature of distant stars for the first time. The spectroscopic study of Betelgeuse showed that the star was a red supergiant in the late stages of its evolution. Edwin Hubble, known for discovering the expansion of the universe, also contributed to the study of Betelgeuse in the 1920s. Hubble used the newly developed techniques of astrophotography to study the size and structure of the star. In the 1950s and 60s, the invention of the radio telescope ushered in a new era. This technology made it possible to observe Betelgeuse in different wavelength ranges, which in turn provided completely different insights into its physical properties and the star's atmosphere. Finally, in the 1990s, the Hubble Space Telescope revolutionized Betelgeuse's surface observations, and we witnessed the irregular brightness fluctuations for the first time. The Hubble Space Telescope revolutionized observations of Betelgeuse's surface, allowing us to witness its irregular brightness fluctuations for the first time. Since then, researchers have divided these fluctuations into several almost regular cycles. With the advent of interferometry at the start of the 21st century, astronomers have been able to make extremely precise measurements of the surfaces of stars. Observations using the Very Large Telescope in Chile have provided exciting images of Betelgeuse's irregular surface activity and massive convection cells. Our detailed knowledge of Betelgeuse is relatively recent, making it difficult to make precise predictions. The most recent observations in 2024 showed another significant dimming, supporting the theory that Betelgeuse is heading for a supernova explosion. Modern technologies such as high-resolution spectroscopy and computerized simulations, now allow us to track the state and future evolution of Betelgeuse with precision. While Betelgeuse remains an object of intense scientific study, its exploration showcases the progress of astronomy and humanity's growing ability to unravel the mysteries of the universe. What do we really know about supernovae? Our science often seems so confident, and it's easy to get the impression that researchers possess absolute truths. However, when it comes to the universe, many theories and opinions are still based on pure speculation. We know as little about the true nature of supernovae as we do about their precise mechanisms. While people throughout history have witnessed massive explosions of dying stars, these phenomena were often misunderstood. The first documented observation of a supernova dates back to 185 AD when Chinese astronomers observed a guest star in the constellation Centaurus. This bright visitor was visible for several months before disappearing. In 2006, the brightest supernova ever recorded was observed by astronomers around the world. Historical records from China, Japan, and the Middle East reveal that this supernova, now known as SN 2006 GY, was so bright it cast shadows at night and was visible during the day. Researchers expect Betelgeuse to be similarly bright. Another famous historical supernova occurred in 1054, when Chinese and Arab astronomers saw a new source of light in the constellation Taurus. This explosion left behind the colorful Crab Nebula, often depicted today. In 1572, Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe saw a supernova in the constellation Cassiopeia. His detailed records were some of the first to recognize that the sky is not unchanging as Aristotle had claimed, but subject to dynamic changes. Johannes Kepler introduced the concept of a supernova in 1604. He noted a stellar nova in his astronomical diaries, 
assuming he had witnessed the birth of a star. Kepler's supernova was the last visible supernova in the Milky Way that could be observed with the naked eye. It wasn't until the introduction of spectroscopy in the 19th century that scientists began to understand what supernovae truly are. Dying stars and their explosions continue to be a subject of fascination and study, revealing the ongoing mysteries of the cosmos. The study of supernovae, including Betelgeuse, has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. Each supernova provides crucial insight into the life cycles of stars, the formation of elements, and the dynamics of cosmic explosions. When a star goes supernova, it disperses heavy elements into space, which are essential for forming new stars and planets. This process enriches the galaxy with chemicals, influencing the composition of future stellar and planetary systems. Moreover, observing supernovae helps astronomers calibrate cosmic distance scales, improving our understanding of the universe's expansion rate. For example, type IA supernovae, which occur in binary star systems with one white dwarf, serve as standard candles due to their predictable luminosity. By comparing the observed brightness of a supernova to its known intrinsic brightness, scientists can measure the distance to the host galaxy. This method is crucial for determining the universe's expansion rate. Technological advancements in astronomy, such as space-based observatories and advanced spectrometers, allow for more detailed studies of these cosmic phenomena. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are expected to provide unprecedented views of distant supernovae and their remnants, offering new insights into the early universe and the formation of the first stars. Additionally, studying supernova remnants like the Crab Nebula provides a natural laboratory for understanding matter and energy in extreme conditions, helping validate theories about stellar evolution and the fundamental forces of nature. In essence, the continuous exploration of stars like Betelgeuse and their resulting supernovae represents a dynamic field of research. Each discovery not only expands our knowledge but also enhances our appreciation for the complex and ever-evolving universe we inhabit. The study of Betelgeuse and similar cosmic phenomena offers profound insights into the life cycles of massive stars and their eventual demise. These stars play a significant role in synthesizing and distributing heavy elements throughout the galaxy, essential for the formation of future stars and planetary systems. Betelgeuse, one of the most well-studied red supergiants, provides a unique opportunity to observe stellar dynamics. Its complex behavior indicates the intricate processes occurring within massive stars nearing the end of their life cycle. Given its large size and mass, Betelgeuse is expected to undergo a dramatic collapse before exploding. This collapse is a critical phase where the star's core contracts under gravity, raising temperatures to the point where nuclear fusion of heavier elements occurs. The resulting supernova not only provides a spectacular event but also plays a vital role in dispersing these elements into the interstellar medium, contributing to the formation of future stars and planetary systems. Astronomers are also keenly interested in the impact of such explosions on their surrounding environments. Supernovae generate shockwaves that can trigger the formation of new stars from nearby gas and dust, illustrating the interconnectedness of stellar life cycles and the dynamic processes driving cosmic evolution.